Hey there, everyone. Wishing you health and love during these times. Me and the rest of the Flurn team are all safe and sound at home. And we've got some great content. I've set up a little home studio here. And we're going to be recording some wonderful tutorials and uh, things for you to enjoy during these times. This video coming up was actually recorded a few weeks ago. Uh, so you'll see I'm at the studio, but don't worry. <laughs> Wanted to record a little update letting you know that me and the rest of the team are home and safe. So now's a great time to get close with those you love and uh, really appreciate um, the friends and family during these times. Alrighty. Thank you so much. Wishing you health and wellness. I'll see you soon. Enjoy this video. Bye everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to batch edit your images in Lightroom. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And today, as a part of our intro to Lightroom classic series, we're going to show you how to batch edit your images in Lightroom. Now, this is incredibly useful. It happens all the time. Let's say you're photographing an event and you're, you know, shooting away, you get your images on your computer and you're like, oh man, this entire series is like slightly underexposed or maybe your white balance was just a little bit off. It can be really helpful to edit one image how you want it and then apply those changes to a batch of images with just a click. And that's exactly what we're going to show you how to do in today's episode. Keep in mind, this is a part of our intro to Lightroom free series. So if you want to watch the entire series, just click on the link right down below. So in this case, I've got a bunch of vacation photos. I want to go ahead and process out a couple different versions. I already like the edits that we have here, but I want to see what some black and white versions of these photos look like. So to go ahead and start with, I'm going to choose some photos that I want to see in black and white as well as color. So we've already chosen our favorite images in the second episode in this series. Let's go ahead and filter that. I'm just going to show my red images and my yellow images. These are my picks from the series. These are, maybe if this was a photo shoot, these would be the images that I would send to my client. So let's go ahead and click on our first image, double click. I'm going to go to my develop tab and we're going to make some edits. So I've already actually edited this image, but I want to do a couple more things. What we're going to do now is I'm going to convert this to black and white. Okay. And then we're going to bump up our contrast. There we go. We're going to take our highlights down a little bit and let's bring our shadows. There we go. Shadows down a little bit. Uh, let's take our whites down and maybe make our blacks a little bit. There we go. That's looking good. And let's add a little bit of texture there as well. Now, because this is a black and white look, I'm going to go right down here to where we have some effects. All right. And I'm actually going to add some grain as well to give it kind of like a film type look. So you can see adding grain. There's the before and the after. Cool. So this looks really cool. I've got a nice film effect. And let's say I want to apply this change to all of these other images in the series. Well, I'm going to hit G for my grid view to get back to everything. Okay, so I've got this image. I want to apply all these changes to the entire series. It's incredibly easy to do. All you have to do is click on your first image and that image has the changes applied and then shift hold down shift and then click on the last image. So you can see your first image has a lighter border around it. See this light gray border. These other ones are selected, but this is going to be our main selected image. So I can take the information and the changes from this and apply them across the entire image series. So now I'm back in my library module. We're going to go right down here at the bottom and click on sync settings. So let's go to sync settings. Now, by default, it's going to want to sync a lot of these settings. And I didn't actually make changes to a lot of these things, right? Like I didn't make any lens correction changes or effects and things like that. So let's go ahead and start off with check none, because basically you just want to check the things that you actually changed. So let's go ahead to our treatment and uh, profile, our basic tone. There we go. Texture and clarity. We didn't touch dehaze or sharpening. Black and white, we did. Our local adjustments, we didn't do this. Noise reduction, nothing there. Transform, we did some grain. So let's go ahead and check that. And everything else is going to look good. I recommend doing this because let's say you did some spot removal on one of your photos. You wouldn't necessarily want to apply that same spot removal on a batch of photos unless they have the same spots in the exact same places. Okay, so literally we're just clicking on the things that we actually changed in our images. Alrighty. Now, all we have to do is click synchronize 
and it automatically ripples those changes across the entire series. So we have our black and white effects. This looks really, really good. And they all basically like look like they're in the same series. Now, if you wanted to, you can still make adjustments, obviously, like this image came out a little bit dark. So here in my library module, I could still, for instance, adjust my exposure. There we go. I can just pop that up there. And now we have a properly exposed image right there. So we've got everything in black and white. Of course, you can tweak things. Now, the only downside, in my opinion, to doing it like this is that I've lost all the color versions of my images. And I want both. I want both the color versions and the black and white versions. So in order to do that, you're going to want to create what's known as virtual copies. These are super cool. Basically, it just creates a virtual copy in Lightroom. This doesn't actually duplicate any images on your hard drive, but it allows you to process multiple versions of the same photo. And then when you export, you can export those different versions. So let's go ahead and hit, I'm just going to hit undo. So I'm going to hit Control or command Z. Lightroom is really good with its undos. You can just kind of undo everything. See, I just undid, undid all of those batch changes. I can undo my selection. I can even go back in here and undo all this stuff. But for now, let's go ahead and keep this uh, right where it is. Now I'm gonna hit Control or Command A to select all my images. We're gonna right click and go down to create virtual copies. And basically you can see it pretty much just duplicates everything, which is fantastic. Now, it can be a little bit confusing at this point because we have our image and then a virtual copy and then an image and a virtual copy. So there are a few different ways in which we can actually view our images. Right here on your filter bar, if you don't see that, just go to view and then show filter bar. You actually have the option right over here on the right hand side to just show your virtual copies. So let's go ahead and click there and you can see these are now just my virtual copies, which is fantastic. So now if I wanna apply this black and white to just my virtual copies, basically all the virtual copies will be black and white and I'll still have a version of color images as my originals. So let's show you how to do this. Basically, you just click on your first one, hold shift and click on your last one, same exact as, as you would do this before. We'll go to sync settings on the bottom right. Go ahead and click on synchronize. These are all the same settings we chose earlier. And now these are just being applied to my virtual copies, which is fantastic. And you can edit these just like you would normally edit images. You can go to your develop module and make some changes here. In this case, maybe I'll just bring our exposure up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna click through my cool, these are cool with some grain on them in black and white. There we go. Oh, I meant to adjust the exposure there. All right, so I'm just making a couple exposure adjustments to these photos. Fantastic. So let's go back to our grid view. So I'm gonna turn off my uh, virtual copy filter now. And here we can see all of our images. So we have our main image, virtual copy, main image, virtual copy, basically for the entire set. So back in our main image, because this is black and white still, let's say we wanna convert this back to color again. I just have to go to my develop module here and then just go back to before I turned it black and white. Okay, so I'm literally just undoing my history. Let's go back to our grid view now. Fantastic. So we have our images and our virtual copies for the entire set of photos. So at this point, we're doing great. Not only did we learn how to batch edit our photos, but we learned how to create a virtual copy. So we have our originals and we have the exact same set of images in black and white as well. So as of now, what we wanna do is export these different images so we have our color versions and our black and white on the hard drive. So let's go ahead for our originals. I'm gonna click on here where we see kind and we're just gonna go to our master images. There we go. These are our, our first images, basically the main images. So we'll hit Control or Command A on these. We're just gonna go to File and down to Export. There we go. And then here we wanna just say, I'm gonna choose this folder later. That sounds good. We're gonna add it to the catalog. Fantastic. And everything else looks pretty good. JPEG and sRGB looks great. So let's go ahead and hit Export now. Now I'm actually gonna put these into my output folder that we created earlier. So here we can see we have our vacation output. Now we're just gonna put these into a folder called color and hit enter. It's gonna export these out. And you can see it's gonna put these right here in my Lightroom catalog because I chose that as my option. And now let's go ahead right up here while it's exporting. I can just turn my master files off. We're gonna turn our copies on. Let's hit Control or Command A on those to select them all. Export, add this to the catalog. Yes, please, or we'll choose the folder later. And we'll go ahead over here, 
and create a new folder in here called black and white. Perfect. So here my output folder, which is where I'm putting like the images that are gonna go to the web. We have our color version, our black and white version, and then this we created in an earlier tutorial. So let's go ahead and click on open there. And you can see it's automatically syncing here into Lightroom again. Now these are the actual files on my computer. So let's go ahead and turn off our filtering for our virtual copies. Okay, and then we can just see all of our images at once. So let's go ahead and turn all of these filters off. And this is all of the images in our entire Lightroom catalog. Now, as you can see, it automatically updated here. So here we can click on our black and white images. These are on my computer. Our color images, these are on my computer. So you can see we basically just have multiple versions here. And of course I can right click here and I can say show in finder. There we go. And on my computer, I've got black and white versions of all my photos and color versions of all my photos as well. So this is a fantastic way, not only just to make broad changes, but to have duplicate versions of your images. That way, if you wanna send your clients these versions, you could say like, okay, here's an entire folder of color images. Here's a folder of black and white images. Here's a folder of sepia toned images. You can apply different presets or different editing styles to those images and then send those to your clients. Basically, they just get a lot more bang for their buck because they're getting the same images processed different ways and you're gonna seem like their hero. Now, there's one more thing I wanna show you and this is just how to clean up your Lightroom catalog just a little bit after creating virtual copies. So back in Lightroom here, we're just gonna to go to my capture folder and here we can see our main edits as well as our light virtual copies, our edits and virtual copies, and here we have this again. Now, Lightroom does this thing called stacking where it can actually stack multiple virtual copies together just to save a little bit of visual space. So go up here to photo, down to stacking, and you could go to collapse all stacks. So if I do this, it's gonna simplify this, and now we see these little stacks right up here. So where it says two, if I click right there, it's gonna expand that stack out. If I click here, it's gonna pull this back together. So I can see there are multiple different virtual copies within this stack. You can also just stack any images you want together, but automatically stacking is supported when you have virtual copies. So now it's a lot cleaner and I can see, hey, I have two processed versions of this photo, a color and a black and white, and you can create many of these. You could have 10 virtual copies within this stack. And if you wanna go ahead and expand it all out again, just go to photo, down to stacking, and you're gonna to go to expand all stacks, boop, and then you're gonna see your photo as well as the stacked virtual copy. And there we have it guys, batch editing our photos and using virtual copies to stay organized and create multiple versions of each of your edits. So if you're into the idea of creating multiple different variations of your photos, Lightroom presets are something you're gonna to wanna to look into because basically they allow you to just click on one button and then it'll apply a bunch of changes to your images and then you can process out multiple versions of those photos. And we're actually giving away a free sample 10 pack of Lightroom presets on flurn.com. So if you wanna download that, I highly encourage you to do so. You can just click on the link right down below. And if you enjoy them, we have an entire library of Lightroom presets included in Flurn Pro, as well as every pro tutorial we've ever recorded. Alrighty, well, there's my little spiel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone.